In 2012, the U.S. government seized what is still believed to be the final answering machine, still operating in the Western Hemisphere. Five years later, the tapes have leaked. The owner has not been identified. Uh, yeah, Jimmy, it's your dad. Uh, just noticed you left the back door open. So if you could come get that closed, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, we don't want uh, don't want any raccoons getting in the getting into the kitchen, getting in the trash, making a mess all over the floor. Help me! And uh, yeah, so if you could just take care of that, I'd appreciate it. All right, you take care. I don't even understand why you would say that to me. Like I am like the queen bitch of this school, and if you step to me, I will make like Jay Z back before Jay Z got all soft and weird. Like he was talking about his emotions. I've listened to that whole podcast and he said feelings 17 times. And I'm like, Jay-Z, Jehovah, you're getting soft. You're getting soft like Kanye's dick. <laughs> because I heard that he can't get it up anymore. Like up into the stratosphere. Like diamonds in the pants is not what he has. Thank you. I also think I'm witty. Oh, shit. Pocket dial. Pocket dial, you son of a... Oh, uh, hey there, this is Otis uh, from the gym, you know, the, the night maintenance guy from the gym, you know. We're just calling everybody who uh, has a membership, just letting them know we're going to be cleaning out uh, the wrestling room, finally, <laughs> right? Because you've been complaining a lot, you've all been complaining a lot about uh, the smell in there. And you know what, we took up uh, we took up the mats in there, and you know what we found? A carp. Someone had put a carp underneath the wrestling mats. And the way I figured, like I worked it, I worked it backwards. It's like five years ago, we had like a guy who was like, that was his wrestling thing was like the slinging salmon, uh, and I guess salmon's expensive, so he got a carp and he uh, hid it under those mats to get like a psychological advantage because he'd been hit in the nose so many times he was anosmic, which means he can't smell. So I think he figured like, if he ever got into a competition, because we don't hold tournaments, but I guess, you know plan for the war you expect to fight that's Sun Tzu and uh he hid it under those mats so that if he ever got into like a wrestling tournament situation the swinging salmon would just have the advantage uh but we cleaned it out and we poured several cups of bleach on uh, all the mats uh which is why if you're in there and they look a little faded or they got little white spots uh you're not really supposed to bleach those but uh I didn't know what else to do I'm not a fish scientist or uh I guess a smellman Anyway, this is Otis from the gym. Uh, love you. Greetings, mortals! It is I, Agronomus, Wizard King, doing some cold calling uh, to kind of check in on the subjects, which uh, I don't know if you knew. You're my subject, everyone on Earth. He's my subject because I am the Wizard King of Earth. Uh, uh, I guess I should tell yourself a little about me. That sentence didn't parse. I'm nervous. I'm sorry. I'm a, I'm a skeleton. I'm a talking skeleton, and I'm not used to talking to people. It's more finger of death, and they're dead, and uh, I kind of avoid awkwardness that way. I'm a Pisces, which means I'm affectionate, but I demand affection in return. What else? Boy, you seem interesting to yourself until you try to describe yourself. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, I stole the golden chalice of Gimfort 762 years ago, and now I eat a cereal out of it. My favorite cereal is the Girl Scouts one that tastes like Thin Mints. I don't have a tongue, but I do have a homunculus that lives in my mouth that tells me what things taste like. Ah, uh, all right, it's Sunday afternoon. It's raining lightly. Is this boring? I feel like this is boring, and I'm... I'll, I'll... You know what? I'm going to write a little script and then call back, and I think it'll go better. Agronomous Wizard King out! Uh, yeah. Hey, uh, Jimmy, it's your dad again. Uh, the back door is open. The back door is open, you know. Uh, I'm just worried about getting... About getting, uh, you know, things creeping in through the holes in the in the back of the house, you know. Just popping through. Just raccoons, you know. I'm just talking about raccoons, but uh, please. You know, if you could uh, come back and just close the door and lock the door and clear up uh, the altar, then we could just uh, really need really need to close that up. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm telling him, I'm telling him. 
Yeah, yeah, yo, know, yeah. You stop whispering. <laughs> Jimmy, if you could just close the back door, that'd be great. Slugs. Salvo. 23. 14. 179. 8. Number session broadcast repeats. 4. Yeah, hey, it's uh, it's Chet at Blockbuster. You know the Blockbuster you used to go to on Fifth Street. Yeah, uh, we're j- I'm just checking up on uh, if you ever returned that copy of the Craft, because I am looking at the records that I uh, stole when the store closed, and uh, it looks like it never came back. And uh, we did liquidate all those DVDs, but it, you know it would still be nice for records purposes and to finish it off. And I'm not even, I'm not looking for late fees, okay? Okay, that's not what this is about. This is about completion. So if you could just drop that DVD of the craft into any mailbox, you know, I'm checking them every day all around town and if necessary in multiple cities. I'll keep looking. So, you know, if I'm if I'm on my rounds and I see a copy of the craft, you know, I'll just, I'll chalk it up to you. Otherwise, like, I don't think anybody's mailing anybody a DVD of the craft right now. I wouldn't. It's not a great movie. It's, I mean, it's fine. You know what? You didn't ask me for a recommendation, and that's something I got written up a lot back when Jerry was still alive. The manager, Jerry. You remember? A little bald guy always smoking a cigar in the store. Unprofessional, I thought, but it's not nice to speak ill of the dead. Anyway, it'd be great if you could just drop the craft off in any U.S. postal box, and otherwise, I'll kill you. I'll fucking kill you. All right, great. Bye. God, you're like so cute and just you want to get in my van for a minute and we'll like just talk oh my god you have so many good muscles coming out of so many places in your t-shirt yeah come hang out in my van for a minute okay cool yeah just slide in there <laughs> that's something that'll happen again later get it sexually but uh yeah just sit down and yeah put on your seatbelt because it's a bumpy ride when you ride with Triffany you need an airbag <laughs> oh What's this? Oh, it's a rag with chloroform on it. (laughs) Yeah, go to sleep. Go to sleep, dummy. Oh, shit. Pocket dial. Pocket dial. Someday I will murder you. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Hey, this is Otis. Otis from the gym. Uh, I I realized that I called the the wrestler two different things. And it was the slinging salmon. Uh, Not the swinging salmon. Also, I lifted up another mat in the wrestling room. And uh, wouldn't you know it? There's a hole in the floor and it just seems to go further down and further down and every time I put my, my hand in the hole it, it feels right and like I should go in further so I'm going to do that but I love you goodbye yeah it's Chet from Blockbuster I know where you lived and I know that you didn't return Jerry Maguire and we're going to find you and I'm going to put you in the hole I'm going to put you in the hole in the back of my car and you won't come out yeah Jimmy it's, uh, it's your dad the door is open, Jimmy. The door is open. Seven. Eight. One hundred twenty-two. Everyone you love. You will watch become other. You will steal the holes for me. You will enjoy it. Sixteen. 123. Gum. 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 17 tapes were discovered alongside the machine, placed in no particular order. Scientists are still trying to determine the language on the labels. Greetings, mortals! This is a prepared statement from Agrodmus, Wizard King. A cool skeleton with big ideas that wants to bone down on fun times and rulership of your planet. Was that... I feel like that was short, but good. I feel like it was punchy. Punch, 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 like a boxer. Ha ha ha, it's me. Mike Tyson, gonna be eat your ear. Ha ha ha, I do have teeth. But again, uh, no tongue. That's, uh, that's my policy on dates, too. Ha ha ha. I'm kidding, I'm an androgynous skeleton person. Well, I've gone off script again. This is bullshit. God damn it. <laughs>